guys, very quick review about Indy Towers and Rose de Kandahar. A rose from Afghanistan, isn't that exciting? It's a beautiful boozy rose and it dries down in some tobacco atmosphere with uh, some creamy notes and then this beautiful rose. Yes, it's very nice. It's one of the best Indy Towers, to my opinion. And um, it opens with almond, bergamot, apricot and uh, I smell some nutmeg although it's not inside cinnamon it has a very dry vibe that's very nice and then the roses come in i smell a lot of other rose uh, roses beside uh, this afghan rose and then at the dry down it has this patchouli and the tobacco leaves and a little bit this rose and creamy vibe yeah it's very nice and um, then we have the the rose uh, misunderstanding i mean a lot of men think that roses are for ladies of course you give ladies to you give ladies roses but it doesn't make it a feminine thing and a lot of men say when they talk about rose fragrances i don't like roses in general but this one i like i mean they, they want to be like real men and don't like roses but believe me roses are great on men i mean you have these white florals that are typically feminine fragrances but roses combined with oriental notes with uh, with incense yeah or oud that's like typically unisex and the big fragrance houses do understand that i mean Guerlain and armani just imagine rose barbar from uh, from Guerlain, which is not a barbaric but a beautiful unisex rose from the private collection uh, and the armani the arabi from Armani, ah, oh, a wonderful rose fragrances also for men. And not to forget the rose oud from uh, by Kilian. And then finally the midnight uh, oud from Julian has a gun. Did you ever try those fragrances, man? You should try. Try your first rose fragrance this year. Do it. And if you don't uh, dare to try the more heavy roses, try Lumière Noir from Francis Cook Chan. It's one of my most complimented fresh rose fragrances. So that's a misunderstanding that roses are only for ladies. Roses are for men as well. And uh, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. Bye.